Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Just now Google released the third beta of Android Canary right after QPR2 beta 1 that I have here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and the build number. It's ZP11.250728.008 and the update size is 588 megabytes. And now let's take a look at the new features. This update includes all the new features we've seen in QPR2 beta 1, in addition to some other features specific to this build. So I will start with these features and then talk about the rest of the changes. The first change you'll see here is the flashlight brightness level. When you tap and hold on the flashlight, now you can adjust the brightness intensity, as you see here, using a slider. Plus you get a haptic feedback when you drag your finger over the slider and when you adjust it to a specific level and then enable the flashlight again it doesn't save your preference but you have to change the brightness every single time plus you have a turn off button here on in the overlay card the second change in the quick settings is the smaller gap between the network name and the status bar icons same as the clock and date for reference here is a side by side comparison with qpr2 beta 1 as you see, the gap is smaller and I prefer this newer look. Moving to the wallpaper and the style app, we got most of the new changes we've seen in QPR2 beta 1, but when it comes to the home screen icons, they are totally different. Now you can adjust the icon shapes and you have five different options to choose from. Plus, we didn't get the new create option of QPR2 beta 1 and the minimal icons is still named as themed icons in this build. We also got the same lock screen widgets, but there is a slight difference between Canary and the QPR2 beta 1. And here's a side by side comparison between the two. In Canary, the buttons are smaller and better aligned. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video, they are now available in the wallpapers by in depth tech reviews app and you will find its Google Play Store download link in the description. Plus, you have the ability to download any of these wallpapers locally on device to apply the wallpaper effects of Android 16 on them. And now let's get back to Android Canary Beta 3. So these are all the new features specific to Android Canary. But we also got most of the new features related to QPR2 Beta 1 that I will briefly talk about them right now. But if you want to check the full details, you can get back to my previous video that I'm going to leave its link in the description below. First the change we got from QPR2 beta 1 is the addition of the new remove option in the app shortcut menu which will allow you to remove any app from your home screen instead of dragging it over to the drop target. In contrast Android Canary doesn't force all apps to use themed icons like in QPR2 beta 1 as shown in this side by side comparison so android canary is still the same as the stable version of android 16. in the wallpaper and the style app when you try to change the wallpaper and then go to the effects tab you get some material u shapes while the feature is loading additionally we got the same redesigned widget speaker that has two tabs at the bottom featured and the browse with better animation when you expand and collapse the different categories and here we have redesigned drop down arrows and also the search bar is slightly thicker the redesigned users widget of qpr2 beta 1 is also here but unfortunately in android canary when you add it it still matches the old design unlike qpr2 beta 1 that got the new design working fine we also got the same minor changes under settings like the new menu under network and the internet called mobile network security which will allow you to turn the 2g network protection on or off under the notification settings the dismiss notifications across pixel devices got renamed to notification dismissal sync under display and touch we got the lock screen widgets settings because this build also supports the lock screen widgets as a showed you earlier from here you can go to widgets on lock screen to turn the feature on or off and also choose when to trigger your lock screen widgets plus you have the same thing under the lock screen settings you will see another toggle here called widgets on lock screen by this i covered all the new features in this update and now let's talk about the performance and the stability based on my experience while filming this video when you compare it to qpr2 beta 1 this build is more buggy with more rendering issues as an example 
when you go to the lock screen widgets and then tap on hold when you unlock the phone using your face you get a white shade on top of everything and it doesn't look great and you will come across multiple issues like this so if you want to get your hands on the new features i recommend sticking to qpr2 beta 1 instead of android canary so that's pretty much it for today these are all the new features in the third beta of android canary please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video